Hey everybody, Darren from DNL Auto Sales. I want to show you the next unit that we got going up for sale. Uh, it'll be up for sale on Monday, but first I want to show you uh, what it is. It's a Road Trek 210, and how do you get to 210? What does that mean? So 210 means it's 21 foot long. In the Class B of this vintage, you've got the 170, which is 17 foot long. You got the 190, which is 19 foot long, which most of them are the 190s. And what that is, is that's the extended Chevy Ford Dodge van. Um, the difference is, is when, when Ford extended out their rear ends, that sounded, sounded weird, but anyways, you get what I'm saying. When Ford extended out their vans along with Dodge, they extended the back end from the center axle to the, bu to the back bumper. So they extended those two feet from 17 foot to 19 foot. So that's where how you would get a 190 or 19 foot on the Ford and Dodge. Now that's a pleasure, that's a wide body, it's a little bit different, a little bit longer, but you get the idea. When Chevrolet extended their vans, what they did is they extended the wheelbase. So if you look at this, this is the uh, DNA Auto Sales shop van. It's a 1990 GMC one ton extended van. But you can see it's short from the back axle to the back bumper compared to the Ford over here. So what Chevy did is when they made went from 17 foot to 19 foot, they extended the wheelbase two feet. So you got a longer wheelbase on, on the Chevys, but it's still a 19 foot van. This is basically what uh, what Road Trek would start out with to get their one get their two tents. Because what they did is they took the Chevy van with the extended wheelbase. Okay, and they added two feet to the back to get the popular 210. So 21 foot long, kind of the best of both worlds on the road trek. So this is the next one we got going up for sale. That's why it's the longest one in the industry that you can find in these uh, in these vintage. You know, the Sprinters are actually a little bit longer, but um, but in this vintage, a 210 or 21 foot is the longest one you can get. So this one going up for sale, the cool part about this is that it has um, the, the large double beds in the back and and you can still sleep four and have four seats up. Or, yeah, sleep four and have two seats up front too, which I'll show you in the inside. Overall, it's very clean. It does have some rust along the, the window here, with some rust bubbles there. A lot of times on these two tens, you'll see some body work in this area where, where Road Trek extended the back end of these vans. This one actually looks real solid. It's real clean inside and out. A lot of work done. Another cool part about this, Ha, 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 454 big block power. Yeah, not the little wimpy 350, it's got the big block 454 in it. So yeah, you know, not great fuel mileage, but when you got that kind of power, who cares? One of my favorite, it's really one of my favorite uh, Class B camper vans, the extended one with the big blocks. So here's the inside, 92,000 miles in this. This is a 1994, uh, again, 92,000 miles. Go around and look at the other side. Brand new tires on it. Does have the awning, it's got a generator, does not have a shower. Uh, it's got a water heater in it. Um, again, real clean, real rust free, except for around that back window. This window is great. A uh, little damage down here where it had a blowout at one time and the bent buckled up the metal at some point. So let's take a look inside. So again, this is uh, has four seats in the front, and these two seats fold down into a two couple of five foot beds for kids. All new LED lights in here. Uh, new flooring, tables are new as well. Just a real nice clean unit. Rear air conditioning, full galley kitchen, of course. Two burner stove. Again, new table back here. So this is the nice part about these beds is like you've got like six foot two on these beds this way, and you can put it up into a full, almost queen size bed. It's and it's six foot by six foot two. So good sleeping room on these. And then this closet, you got the uh, good size closet and the new toilet as well. Again, no shower in this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, 
How's that? So, um, yeah, 1994, 92,000 miles. Price going to be about 20 grand. We're going to put it on the website. I should have looked at the camera, not at myself. The camera, there we go. Hi, hi. So that's a quick rundown on that. Uh, watch it come up for the website. Uh, another tech tip is when it's six foot tall, when you're walking out of these Class B camper vans, go backwards. It's easier to bend that way and you save your bald head from getting scuffed up. So, hey, thanks for checking it out. Watch for this up for sale on Monday. You guys have a good weekend and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there tomorrow. This would be a great present for one of them, I think.